his video 9 in this series. We're just messing uh, with the Doom executables mostly, but now we're shifting gears and going from the code and the binary, the actual program of the game, into the media part of it, uh, which are WAD files. They're packages. Um, think of them kind of like zip files full of all the pictures, sounds, levels, music, all the artistic part of the game uh, in them. And uh, now I want to point out that Doom has been open source for a while and there are different ports of it. We've been working with PR Boom. There's other ones, Chocolate Doom and one called Vavoom, each having their own special functionalities. Um, but the WAD file in Doom is not free. So the source code is under a GPL. But the game media is still copyrighted information. So when you're on a Debian-based system, for example, you can install PR Boom, and uh, you also have an option in the repositories for Debian anyway to install the shareware version of the game, which is the first nine levels or so of the game. Uh, and if you want to get the full game, the code doesn't change, but you need to get the WAD file off the original CDs. So I have those because um, I still have my CDs from the original game. If you uh, look hard enough online, you can find them, but you're really supposed to buy them. I, there may or may not be some sort of reference on where to get them in the notes for this video, which are in the in a link in the description. Just a little hint there. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to be messing with the Doom 1 and Doom 2 wads here. Uh, if you want to go fully open source with both the uh, game and the media. There is Free Doom that should be in your pod stories, which has been an ongoing project. I haven't checked to see whether it's up to date, but for a while, at least not too long ago, they were keeping it pretty up to date, where their goal was to replace all the copyrighted material, all the um, textures for the walls, all the sprites for the characters and objects, all the music, everything, all the graphics and audio and levels from Doom. They are creating their own and replacing the ones in the game, and it's called Free Doom. Um, so check that out. Uh, but how do they do that? Well, they need to extract these WAD files, modify stuff, and repackage them. And we're going to do a few different videos on these. And there's WADs and then there's IWADs, and I'll get more into that in the future. But let's go ahead and just start. These are the tools that you will need for this video. So use apt-get or aptitude, whichever you have on your system and or prefer, or use your graphical package manager. Uh, MH Wave Edit we'll use in one of these upcoming videos to edit the audio. Um, GIMP we'll use to edit some images. We may use Image Magic to edit some images. And then the big thing is uh, Do Text, which also will be under your repositories, at least on uh, Debian, as Doom Wad Editor. This Doom Wad Editor, that's why I have it commented out, just points to Do Text. And Dutex has been around for a long, long time. I'm pretty sure back in the 90s when I used to uh, mess with the Doom game, which is some of my first real programming, if you will, uh, in a way. Um, my real first experience developing on computers was mainly messing with Doom. And Doom te uh, Dutex was uh, a WAD editor they had. And I think I also used one called WinTex, which was like a GUI front end for Windows for this, but we're going to be looking at the basic command line for this, which is basically unpackaging and repackaging. And then if you want to install PR Boom, that should install the basic game, and I think by default it will also install the shareware version of the game or Freedom. So go ahead and install those. I already have them installed, so I'm not going to do that. Once you have those installed, what we need to do is we need to use DoText. Uh, to extract our wads. So I'm going to say dash doom because I'm going to extract doom one wad. If you're going to do doom two, it'll be doom two. And then tell it where the wad is, which uh, if you've installed them on your system, if you download them, you have them in a folder somewhere uh, to install them to your system so that PR Boom sees them without you having to tell them where they are. They are going to be under on a Debian based system. USR, share, games, doom, and then doom.wad will be the doom one wad. Then we're going to say dash et um, r a t c for extract, and when I hit enter, it extracts everything in that wad file. So I can list here. You can see there's multiple different folders. I'm going to open up a file browser to into the same folder here. So like levels, we're not going to really get into those much, but you'll need a level editor. There is one in the repositories. I don't remember what it's called. We're going to mainly be looking at sound effects and visual stuff. So for example, here we have graphics and here are some graphics for the game, including the uh, player's face, which is on the toolbar in the game. You know, the main 
uh, logo screen, so that's that there. So let's go ahead and actually let's um, modify this title image. All the images are uh, PPMs, uh, which GIMP can handle. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna right click this and say open in GIMP. So there we go, we have it. It's uh, 320 pixels by 200 pixels. And that's your main logo, main title screen when you start the game. Now, let me go ahead, go back to my shell here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to quickly download an image. I'm going to download it and if I just open this in a shell, well, I have that open on another workspace so that I'm not gonna flip through anyway. It's, uh, let me copy that address and open up a new window here. That just redirects to an image of me and my daughter in Colorado. I kind of picked this picture just because this big uh, little rock here uh, kind of reminds me of the sky textures in Doom. So I'm gonna take that image, I'll just save as, and I'll put it in my temp folder as main.jpg. Doesn't matter, as long as I know where I saved it. Let's go back to GIMP, okay? Best thing to do when you're editing these files is to basically put them in place of the original file. So instead of creating a new file and saving it over this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, say, I'm going to open that file that I just downloaded. And instead of saving this over that, because there's certain settings, uh, not so much for the pictures, but definitely for the sounds, but I want to make sure that the resolution, everything's set properly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go scale, not canvas, but uh, image scale. And as you can see, as I said, 320 by 200. Let me put this to 300, see what it is. Oh, and that actually rescales it down to the same resolution there. Which I actually want, I'm gonna crop myself out of this photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 500 scale, see what that looks like. And I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste that over this and move it like so. And I'm gonna make that a new layer. I'm not going into detail on how to use GIMP but you can edit these pictures however you want. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm going to create a new layer just for fun and make it a red layer. And it's, there we go. So we have red image and I'm just going to choose one of these overlays till I find one that I like. There we go, uh, darken only. That kind of looks doomish. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to now hit uh, Control E or you can go edit and we can override the original picture and so I can close out GIMP now and if we go back into our file manager which I'm using uh, PC man and go into our graphics folder right there is our image that I have replaced so what we need to do is we need to package this back into a WAD file so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say um, do text and we want to package it. Now there's two different types of WADs again. I'm gonna do a basic WAD. This would be like an add-on file to add features to the game where you can also make an iWAD which is basically like making a new game. I'm gonna say dash doom because it's a doom one WAD and again I'm gonna tell it where my um, oh no I'm sorry I'm looking at my notes here. I'm just going to say dash wad or dash make. I'm sorry. It's late in the day. Uh, and I'm going to call it one dot wad. I'm going to hit enter. And it just packaged everything up into that wad file. Now, to run that, I'm going to say pr boom dash file. Uh, I also want to tell it what version of Doom I'm running. By default, I have Doom 1 and Doom 2 installed. If I start PR Boom, it automatically starts up Doom 2. This is a Doom 1 WAD. So if I was to just run PR Boom uh, and type in file and what did I call my WAD file? Just one. Okay, one.wad. And I try to start that. There's the logo screen. But then when I go into the game, you notice how things are blurry. That's because I loaded up a Doom 1 WAD for Doom 2. And um, although you can make wads that modify stuff in both, but since I repackaged all the artwork, 
there's some stuff that's missing. And so some of these textures are missing and it's causing problems. Not a problem, we're gonna get into that more later on. Uh, but what I wanna do is tell it which IWAD I wanna run, dash IWAD. And I'm gonna again say USR share game or games doom doom one or doom dot wad and that's all has to do with wherever you have your wad files saved now if I hit enter there's my logo screen my main title screen and I go into here and we start it up doom one and as you can see all the textures are proper and if you look at those mountains up there you kind of see why I kind of picked that picture as the title screen let's change another graphic and um, so let's go PC man or whatever file browser you use and I'm gonna go into um, graphics again and right here is our doom logo so I'm gonna open that up in GIMP again and zoom in okay unlike working with PNGs or GIFs or GIFs there's uh, not a transparent layer but we're using a certain color as a transparent color so you see this uh, greenish color here that's actually transparent in the game so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my color here click my eyedropper and choose that color okay and then I'm going to flip that to my background color and now I could paint over what's here but what I'm going to do is again put that to the background color control A to select all and hit delete and when you delete without a transparent layer it makes the background color whatever you deleted so right now we have a completely transparent um, image. If I was to resave this you would not see the words Doom at the top of the main menu. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a browser and I could create text in GIMP but to make things easy I'm just going to go to cooltext.com. If you've never been here it's a quick easy way to create some text and I'm going to type in Linux here and I'm going to pick some colors. Let's pick this red color and let's pick that red color and make it a little bit darker okay so now we have this cool text here I'm just gonna right click and save this image as and I'll call it main title logo in my temp folder for now and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say in here I'm gonna say file open and recent files main title logo there it is now look at the resolution my text is bigger than the original photo. See, if I was to try to save this, it's not too much bigger, so it probably wouldn't cause any problems, but it's best to keep things the same resolution. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say, scale this image, not canvas, but the image, and I'm gonna say one, two, three, and that was the longest size, so save that. Control A, Control C, Control V to paste it in here. Now I can Control E and export that over the original and control Q to quit out of GIMP. And if I go back to my shell here, I can, again, if I now, if I try to do text make one wad, I'm gonna get an error because by default, it's not gonna let you overwrite that wad that you made. So I'm going to say uh, remove one dot wad or just create one with a new name. Now I'll do text make wad and it will generate that new wad for me. And now I can again say we're saying here, start Doom. What IWAD am I using? I'm using the Doom 1 IWAD, wherever I have that placed. And then I'm going to append to that with file of 1WAD that we just created. So I hit that. Now if I hit Escape, you can see at the top, instead of Doom, it says Linux. And I'll quit out of that. Okay, so we're moving along here. Now, let's list things out. Okay, so here is my Doom 1 wad, and you can see it's 12 megabytes. It's 12 megabytes because I'm repackaging all of the art from the entire game and all the sounds and all the music into this file, where really I only changed two images. And so now if I was creating a new iWAD, if I was creating a new game that I'm gonna just completely replace everything, you wanna create an iWAD. And the way you do that, is first of all let's uh, remove the wad file I have and here if I remember correctly I'm going to say iwad now you can obviously use the man file all this is very listed in the, in the uh, man file 
Um, but this is saying don't just make a WAD file, make an iWAD file, meaning you don't need any other game WAD. So you don't need the original WAD, you don't need the Doom 1, Doom 2 WAD, you're making your own based on that. So I'm going to call this new game dot wad. Okay, so now when I start PR boom, instead of saying to load the Doom 1 wad and then append to that the Doom 1 wad or the 1 wad that we created, I can just say PR boom i wad and I will say new wad. And in this particular case, I get the same results. Again, it says Linux at the top there and the main title was different. But basically I created a new game using all that art. I don't have the right to create a game with all this art because it's all copyrighted, unfortunately, in a copyrighted way that's not open. But again, something like the Freedom Project, if you replace all the art and sounds and levels and all that, you can create your own IWAD game and lots of games have been made uh, using the Doom uh, game engine Heretic was one. Uh, there were two versions of a Chex game for the Chex serial that was Doom based. And, uh, and you actually see code for that in the PR Boom uh, source code. Uh, so that's the difference. If you're making a modification for the game, you're just going to create a regular WAD. If you're going to create a whole new game, you're going to create an iWAD. Now, again, even though when we created a WAD that appended to the game, it was still 12 megabyte, the size of the entire game. How can we get around that? Well, again, if we go into our file browser here, we have all these folders full of all different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight all those and delete them. Come into here, and I have everything sorted by modification date. I can shift delete. So the newest two that I did were at the end there. Okay, so we deleted all the non-essential things, anything that I didn't change. Going back to our shell here, if I try to package this now, like so, I'm going to get an error. Right away it's saying can't find level episode one, level one, wad. That's that's a level file. The reason for that is because we have, if we list out here, this wad info file. So if we uh, cat that out, or we'll vim into it, open it with a text editor. You can see it lists everything that it's going to try to package. Dutex creates this when you export stuff from a WAD file and then it tries to repackage it all when you package it. So we have to remove from here what we don't we don't want, okay? Or we're not using. And there's more that we're not using than what we are using. So it might be easier to just delete the whole file and put in what we need. So if we come down here, we can search for graphics, and we can see that a area starts with the brackets and the title of the folder that it's supposed to be in. Anything with a pound symbol is a comment, so we don't even need those. So what we need is graphics, and then the list of the um, artwork that the graphics that we have added. So let's quit out of that, and let's just say echo nothing into the wad.txt. Now if we go back into that, you can see there's nothing in there. Let's add a line that says graphics and let's list what's inside our graphics folder. We got two files here and so let's go ahead and paste them in here each on their own line without their extension and in the original file, things were all capitalized. I don't know if that matters. Uh, usually I capitalize it just to be sure, but let's try it without capitalizing it. So let's try running do text make wad one. And it looks like it completed successfully. If we list out now, instead of 12 megabytes, we have a 72K file, which is much, much better. Uh, so if you're only gonna be making a few changes, you just remove what you don't want. And let's just check to make sure that our WAD file still works. Uh, so we're just gonna say PR boom. Oh, well, again. Well, now we should be able to do it without 
telling it what Doom Logger is. So when I run this now, it's going to default to Doom 2 because I have that installed and that's what it defaults to. But I don't think we'll get that graphical editor. So we got our main title screen. We got Linux at the top there. If we go into here, yeah, we don't get those blurry walls because the reason we got those blurry walls were because of some of the graphics that we were putting into that WAD file were not compatible. And it doesn't matter, they're not there anymore. So this WAD file that we just created is compatible with both Doom 1 and Doom 2. And really any Doom based game because the things we put in there are the title and the title screen. So it's always going to be the same, are always going to be available. Okay, and I think that will be it for this tour. We're going to look more at WAD files uh, next week. So I thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy this tour. Please visit filmedbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description, and as always, uh, have a great day. There's also, again, a link in the description to show notes, all the notes on all that we've gone over today, and some stuff for next week's video if you want to get ahead. So check out the links in the description. Thanks, and have a great day.